Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a very important deployment of a tool which is almost being used by systems and network administrators across the corner of this planet. Yes, you get this right, that is called Negoice. Now before we go with the installation part of Negois on CentOS 7, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding the introduction of Negois. Then I will be telling you what are the basic features or the monitoring services being provided by Negois. And then we will move towards the installation and the core deployment of Negois on CentOS 7 step by step. Now let us start with the awareness of Negois. Negois is a free and open source computer software application that monitors systems, networks and infrastructure. Negois offers monitoring and alerting services for servers, switches, applications and services. It alerts users when things go wrong and alerts them a second time when the problem has been resolved. Ethan Galstead and a group of developers originally wrote Nagois as NetSaint. So I can say that before naming Nagois as the original Nagois, the previous name when it was being developed was named as NetSaint. As of 2015, they actively maintain both the official and unofficial plugins. Nagois is a recursive acronym that is Nagois aren't gonna insist on sainthood. Sainthood makes reference to the original name NetSaint which changed in response to a legal challenge by the owners of the similar trademark. Agois also transliterates the Greek word which means saint. Negois was originally designed to run under Linux but it also runs well on other Unix variants. It is a free software licensed under the terms of GNU General Public License version 2 as published by the Free Software Foundation. In 2006, a survey asked members of the NMAP hackers mailing list to identify their favorite network security tools. In the survey, 3 to 4 3 people voted and Negois came 67th overall and the 5th among the traffic monitoring tools. So I can say that it is one of the best traffic monitoring tools available till date. So before I go with the contents part of the overview, I let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding more introduction of Negois. So original creator was Ethan Galstad and others. Initial release was done on March 14, 1999. The stable release was 4.1.1. It is released on August 19, 2015, about eight months ago. And it is purely written in C and it is available cross-platform, which means it can be installed on Windows, it can be installed on Unix, it can be installed on Solaris, it can be even installed on Linux flavors. So the type is network monitoring and license is GPL version 2 and the original website which I have already opened on the screen that is called negois.org. So you can say the industry standard in IT infrastructure monitoring and you can see over there various products that is Negois 11, Negois log server, Negois network analyzer, Negois advantages are over there. So you can just read it out uh, and uh, if I go with some overview of Negois, Negois is an open source software licensed under GNU GPL version 2. It provides the following services. The first point, monitoring of network services that is SMTP, POP3, HTTP, NNTP, ICMP, SNMP, FTP and SSS. So which means that almost every main core network protocol is being covered in this Negois. Monitoring of host resources, processor load, disk uses, system logs on a majority of network operating systems including Microsoft Windows with NS Client++ plugin or Check MK. Third point, monitoring of anything else like probes which have the ability to send collected data via network to specifically written plugins. Fourth point, monitoring via remotely run scripts via Negois remote plugin executor. Number five, remote monitoring supported through SSH or SSL encrypted tunnels. Number six, a simple plugin designed that allows users to easily develop their own service checks depending on needs by using their choice of tools that is shell script c++ perl ruby python php c sharp etc number seven available data graphic plugins number eight paralyzed service checks number nine the ability to define network hosts using parent host allowing the detection of distinction between hosts that are down or unreachable number ten contact notification when service or host problems occurs and get results number eleven the ability to re to define event handlers to be run during service or host events number twelve automatic log rotation number thirteen support for implementing redundant monitoring host number 14 an optional web interface for viewing current network status notifications problem history and number 15 that is data storage via text files rather than the database so you can see the various advantages also and here are the various stories and Nagoes has a vibrant community so thousands of peoples are being involved in the development of this Nagoes to make it better and better and if I click on this download you can go over there you can find all the products you can find uh, what to download 
but we will be using the various uh, you can say Linux based commands to do it so you can say that core DIY is free core student version is about for $50 Coro Pro is $250 and business is my god it is a rocket budget that is called $1295 so all these features are there you can go through the chart and you can find everything so now we go to CentOS 7 as you can see that I've already started CentOS 7 into my VMware workstation so let me log in into root and you can find all the commands which I have uh, which I will be go through in this video tutorial downstairs on the video so let us go the step by step on installation of Nagos on CentOS 7 so before we start with the installation of uh, uh, of Nagos on CentOS 7 let us first of all do some installation of dependencies and other libraries which are basically required to be uh, Nagos to run so let us start with the command that is first of all let us add some repositories like we do apt hyphen get update on Ubuntu so the first command that is yum install epel hyphen release so that it can be able to install the, uh, the release over versions over there so before it starts with the installation let us first of all tell you that it will be using the httpd the php as well as other php libraries so let us start with the first command let me give this command yum install epel hyphen release so might be there is a process id error so don't you worry you just have to kill this process id okay so let us try again yum install epel hyphen release so let me kill it again so don't you worry so it can happen into CentOS so now you can see that I have given the command that is yum install EPL release so now it is taking it so let us press Y and press enter so it is downloading the package make sure that you are connected to the internet and let us install this key also so this means that the primary thing has been done so because we need the Nagos with a web version so let us start with the dependencies let us install the HTTPD as well as the PHP package with this command let us copy and let us paste it so follow steps it is very easy to install Nagos and it's a very important network administration tool and I can say that if you're a systems administrator it's a must downloadable tool so it is about a 7.7 .7 MB of download and it will taking about 27 MB for installation so it will not take much time depending on your internet connection it will be not taking much time so after that what we have to do is to install the libraries so let me copy this with the GCC compiler and other dependencies which is required by Nagos so let me paste it so about 46 MB of download size is required so after that what we have to do is to add the Nagos user to the system so that you avoid running it as a root so let us take this command and let us add one user okay so almost the download has been done and it has taken 30 seconds for downloading so it is installing updating cleaning up so about 47 packages will be updated installed or cleaned up so we have to wait So good so let us start with the main procedure that is user add Nagois so user has been added now add a new uh, uh, NAGCMD group so that it will allow the external commands to be run via the web interface so let us add the group uh, into it let us paste it so group has been added so let us now copy this so that we can add the user mode paste and let us paste this also 
because we have to avoid it running at as root so make it sure that you do this with external parties so the next step is to download the installation packages and create a new directory to store the downloaded content so let us uh, make a directory or you can say a folder that is with nagois so let us go inside the folder let me copy this okay good so let me clear this so now what we have to do is to double w get all these commands which is the latest version nagois and its plugins so i will be using 4.0.7 which is the latest stable release let me paste it so w get is used for downloading the package from the internet so you can see it is about a 1.7 mb of size it will not take much time so it has been downloaded and now what i have to do is to download the plugins so after that we have to extract the package nagois so the plugins are about 2.5 mb so the total package will be about 5 mb so let us uh, copy paste this command it has been extracted so let us extract the plugins also let us copy this and let us paste it so plugins has been copied so now what we have to do is to compile and install the file so that we can go to the nagois directory and run the configuration script so let us go into this folder you can find the folder over here yes this is the folder so we have to go inside the folder okay so now what we have to do is to run this command so that it can be installed and compiled first of all let us start with the configuration so now you can see that everything is going on fine and now what we have to do is to compile and install the nagois files so it can take about time so less than a minute it is taking so let us give this command so that we can compile and install the nagois files so the command is make all so that's why we have used the gcc compiler so ignore all these warnings this is just a small bugs might be they will be solved in the coming up coming versions because as you can see that nagois is a very active community and you can even uh, if you are a serious programmer linux programmer and you are a good went to web programming languages you can even report the errors to nagois and you can even uh, help them to sort out these errors so it can take about minute or two yes so it has been done so let us go with this command now make install so finally we have to run the init scripts that required the files to run nagois from the command line and the sample configuration files with the following commands so let us go with this commands make install hyphen init so init script has been installed and now what we have to do is to install the command mode so that we can even execute the nagois using the command modes so paste it so external command mode directory is configured and now what we have to do is to install the configuration files so copy this and now paste it so you can see that config files are installed so now we have to do is to now that we have got in nagois installed and ready to run we must install the web component so that we can have the web based interface of nagois so make this command make install hyphen web conf copy this and let us paste it so nagois apache configuration file is been installed so when we have to open the web browser uh, with the ip address and uh, we give the username and password we will be using the nagois admin so for the nagois admin we have to set the password so we have to set the password with this command copy this and let me paste it so the new password is coming let me give my name as a password so adding the password for the nagois admin so now what we have to do is to restart the apache to so that uh, we can uh, see the effects copy this and paste it so httpd service has been restarted now what we have to do is to install the nagois plugins so we will go into this directory because we are already into nagois directory so let us go into the plugins directory now let us paste it so same commands which will be following into the nagois same we will follow into the plugins command also so let us paste it
So the part B of the video has started in which uh, we have uh, configured about uh, Nagos and now we are coming with the plugins part. So that a complete uh, Nagos package will be installed on uh, CentOS 7. Now we will execute the two time, uh, two commands that is make and make install so that plugins can be properly merged with Nagos. So everything is going on fine. So you can see that lots and lots of checking is being done. Let's wait. Almost there. So I will not pause the video so that I want that everybody should have the complete feeling of the Nagos. What is being done, how it is being done, how the checking is done, how the Ubuntu is operating, how the CentOS is operating, everything else. Yes, so now it is configuring the config status. Yes, good enough. So now what we have to execute is the make command. And the last command, so that we will rest assured that everything has been installed and merged up, will be make install after the make has been finished. Yes, so make install. Good enough. Now that we have configured Nagoya's we have installed plugins, we have configured them. The next and the last important step of this video will be to make Nagos start at the boot time. So let us follow these commands. Let me copy this and let me paste it. So total warnings are zero and total errors are zero. So if everything is fine, add the services to run at boot with these commands. So we have to go with the check configuration. It is added, good enough. And now the next command. So that Nago should always remain on even when we restart the server. So add the service with the following command. So that we can start the Nagoya service. Yes, so now everything has been find and configured properly. So now what I have to do is to check the IP address of this machine. It is 192.168.117.136. So let me copy this IP address. Copy this. So now let me come to this. Let me go with this IP address slash Nagois. So now let me open the applications part of this and open the Firefox web browser. So let me copy this slash Nagois and voila we can see the username and password so let me go with this Nagois admin and let me give the password as my name and press enter. So yes you can see that the Nagois score has come and the daemon is running with process ID 36087. So let me view in full screen over there. So everything has been set up. So Nagoya's 11, Nagoya's log server, Nagoya's network analyzer, you can see the download part and you can even see the map. You can see local host and everything is coming up. It is very fine. It is running very beautifully. You can find all the summary. You can find the grid and you can even have the history of over here. Summary, everything is there. So create summary report. You can find everything and generate new report. So event log is there. So you can find that Nagos is working perfectly well into CentOS 7. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Nagos on uh, 
सेंट ओए सेवन सो डू गिव दिस वीडियो अ शॉट डू गिव दिस ट्राई एंड इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मॉनिटरिंग टूल टू बी डन एंड टू बी कन्फिगर्ड सो ऑल द बेस्ट आई होप यू डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड अदर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग